Veterans Day ceremonies and events were held all across the valley today and at Westlaco's Bobby Lackey Stadium, Gold Star families were recognized for their family members who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Our Brian Svensson shares the stories of the families who were honored today. They're honoring my son and this means a lot to us. The Rotary Club of Westlaco and Westlaco ISD hosted the third annual Veterans Day celebration at Bobby Lackey Stadium. Robert Cisneros from the Westlaco Rotary Club says before that, the city didn't have any Veterans Day events. First year we honored World War II veterans, the second year we honored Vietnam veterans, and this year, of course, we're honoring the, the most of our family members. Magdalena Espinosa's son Bradley was killed in action in October of 2009. She says that after 15 years, she started to wonder if anyone still remembered if her and her family would be the only ones to know his sacrifice. Espinoza and her son were presented with a flag commemorating Bradley and their recognition as a Gold Star family. This goes to show that he's not forgotten and uh, he will be remembered and honored. This is uh, something that shows us that we're not alone. Espinoza says being a Gold Star family makes her a member of a club she never wanted to belong to. But sharing this experience with others who've lost someone creates a bond between them that she's grateful for. It's a very important for us to be around each other because we know each other's pain. I know what those other mothers are going, are going uh, uh, I don't know if you saw the hugs. They mean so much because uh, they know my pain and I know theirs. The event featured performances by students from high school down to middle school. Cisnero says his group wants to honor veterans first and teach the younger generation to value patriotism. Teach the children why we have the liberty and freedom that we have in this country. And somebody paid the ultimate price for that to happen. There's a lot of families here and a lot of heroes here in the valley that have paid the ultimate sacrifice. It's good for them to know that. Espinoza says everyone in attendance heard her son's name, along with all the others who were honored and she hopes they take those names with them, remember them, and honor the price each of them paid. Maybe those names are going to be repeated in their conversations. You know, what did you do? Well, yeah, we went to the ceremony. They honored these bolster families. Working for you, I'm Brian Svensson.